Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be pretty much putting a sound system into the 720. I wasn't going to film this, but I started tearing the truck apart and I was like, maybe some of you guys would want to watch because I know on my other 720, I did pretty much the same thing. And I know there's a lot of people who are asking me um, how I did it and what to do and what I recommend and you know how I had it all set up and uh, all that. So I figured I'd pick up the camera and make a quick little video of just what I'm doing and then the finished result how I'm gonna mock everything up because I'm pretty much using all the stuff I used on my other 720 um, except for the head unit because when I sold the truck I pretty much took the whole sound system out except for the head unit and I still pretty much have all that so I'm gonna do pretty much the same setup but a little better with some better speakers because before I was only running a sub and the like shitty speakers that the truck came with so now I'm gonna put probably four speakers and a sub with an amp and make it sound a little better but the only thing that sucks is this head unit that I'm working with isn't Bluetooth so it makes it kind of hard to listen to you know when you have like an iPhone or like a newer modern phone and you have like newer songs um, so I'm probably gonna swap this out but it should be almost like a plug-and-play setup I know you can find some for like 60 bucks at Walmart with Bluetooth but I'm just kind of working with what I have right now um, just until I get bored of this head unit and once I get bored of this then I'll get one of those $60 ones and show you guys how to mock that up Alright guys, so it is now the next day. I got a new head unit right here. I got this at Walmart for I think like 70 bucks. Um, it's pretty much the same exact thing except it has Bluetooth. So that's pretty much all I cared about, just having Bluetooth just so I could hook up my, my phone to it just because the radio kind of sucks. Like their music is just, it's super overplayed. So um, I wanted to buy this. I didn't really do anything yesterday besides just get all the wires stripped. Um, like all this. And I was going to hook it all up and put that back in and then go like today to buy this. But I was like, there's no point if I'm going to have to redo all this. So what I'm going to do right now is unbox this. And the harness that comes in here should be the same exact thing like this. So pretty much all these wires are unplugged. The only ones that are still plugged in are these three. So I'm only going to have to cut these three and splice them into this harness. And then I'll do exactly what I was going to do with this head unit. So this red wire right here is my 12 volt ignition. So when you turn the key, this red wire gets power. And this black one is gonna be the ground. So I'm just gonna be using these wires that the truck came with. Now as for my constant 12 volt, you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but <clears throat> you need to have this yellow wire. It needs to be connected to the battery at all times just so it doesn't like restart the head unit every time. Because if you have this, like let's say connect it to your 12 volt source when you turn the key off it's going to completely kill the head unit and it's going to like erase all your files and all your like settings and it's going to be like every time you turn it on it's going to start up like brand new so that's why you have this yellow wire it's yellow i don't know why it goes to blue but that's why the yellow wire goes straight to the battery now in my case since i am running an amp or i'm going to be running an amp and i have this wire right here i believe this is maybe like four gauge six gauge um and this goes straight to the battery with a fuse under the hood over there. So this always has power because it's connected straight to the battery terminal. So that's why I'm gonna hook up this to this right here. Just pretty much T into this. And then this is gonna go feed the power into the amp under the seat. But that's where I'm gonna be getting the power for my head unit is from this wire, I have it pretty long. It already came with the truck, so that's just what I'm gonna be using. But it's gonna tee into that. So this is where the, all the power is gonna be, like the, the full power. This is gonna be the ignition switch and it's gonna be the ground right here. I'm just gonna cut these, these three and then splice it up to this harness that I have right here. I only have the first three wires plugged in and I would highly recommend you guys do this before you put everything back in. So I got the power right here, the 12 volt switch. We got the ground right here and I'm just using electrical tape. I'm not using like heat shrink or anything. I know I probably should. But I just want to make sure that all these wires are all hooked up and everything's working before I, you know, finish it all. So I'm going to pretty much wire everything in, just throw it in there for now. 
make sure everything works good and then I'll pull everything back out and then I'll do it right, heat shrink it and then just put some electrical tape around the whole entire harness just so it's not like a rat's nest back there. And then uh, I think it should be, you know, good. But right here I have the constant battery terminal, like the 12 volts. I have it plugged into this wire right here that I was telling you guys, which is pretty much going straight to the battery. So it's the same thing as the battery. But yeah, now she's on. Now I just got to hook up all these speaker wires and it's pretty much done. And then that's just for like the basic sound system with four speakers. And then I'll also show you guys how I'm, I'm going to be running my amp. I pretty much have everything done. The whole harness is in here. I did already test it, but I'm still going to be testing it for a few days just to make sure everything is good. And then another thing is, I'm not going to be running the sub and the amp for a while, just especially for this video. I don't want to make it too long. So right now what we got going is these two speakers right here, right there, and right here. Um, kind of just putting all the interior back together. I still haven't plugged in the two that are going to go back here in the seat, but it's going to be those two right there. They're going to be two 6 by 9s and that's all I'm going to be running for now. But the only thing I need to kind of complete this is put my mic setup in there even though I doubt I'm ever going to use this but it came with it and I don't know it just might come in handy so if I get calls or whatever I could maybe answer I don't know but I'm just going to do that right now I also did end up running some LEDs under there just because I had some laying around so I put some more lights in there um, on this little toggle switch right here auxiliary switch so at night that's going to look pretty baller but like I said, I'm just going to plug this in, run the wire through the back, plug it into the head unit, and then I think I should be pretty much done for the install, besides, you know, putting all the wires back together. Alright guys, so the sound system is now pretty much done. The only thing I need to do, which I completely forgot, is hook up the little mic down here. I don't know if you guys can see. Right there, the little mic. Um, I'm probably going to put that, let me just show you guys before I do it, but I'm going to do it off camera. Where's it at? right here I'm probably just gonna mount it like that just so it's not up here because I think it looks hideous up here and then I also need to let me turn this down a little bit I need to find like a bracket or somehow to tie the speakers in because that one's in there just kind of just chilling and so is this one but this one keeps falling out so I knew I had to do this but I just didn't do it because I wanted to go for a drive and see what it sounded like but I'm gonna get the little rings I have them right there the little Kenwood and I'm just gonna put them on there but I'm gonna do that off camera but Pretty much what I've got going on right now, just for now, is got the new head unit. I got uh, two four inch speakers right there, four inch rounds. I got one six by nine back here. Let's see if you guys can see. Let me turn my lights on. Right down there. And then I have a sub right behind me. You guys are not gonna be able to see. You can see the box right there. And Instead of putting another 6x9 like it was going to do over here, I just threw the sub in there just to give it a little bit more like base. But I could obviously tell that it's kind of struggling and it needs an amp to kind of, you know, give it that extra boost. So I am going to be putting the amp and I'm going to do that under the seat. I have all the wires ready to go. I just didn't get to do it. Um, I'm still trying to figure something out. I think I need a new RCA cable. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, AC, R, RCA. Um, the one that's like the, the red and black wire. So once I get a new one of those, then I'll be able to do this, but I just want to get this video out to you guys. But it sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound the best, but it sounds way better than it did before. I'll let you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. I know there's a lot of you guys who love 720 videos and you guys are probably doing the same thing in your 720. So hopefully you guys found this the most useful and just any other car, it doesn't matter if it's a little mini truck or not. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see to this truck. I am probably am going to be doing an exhaust to it, I don't know yet, because right now it sounds like kind of stock, but it looks like it sounds and looks like it has just a muffler delete, so it sounds a little throaty, but I like my stuff a little louder. So I still don't know with what exhaust I want to run, if I want to run an exhaust, like what I want to do, but um, that's just one pot potential thing. And I am going to be lowering it, but I still need to get wheels that fit or new tires because the ones that I have right now poke out too much and they're just too tall. So with that being said, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me do to this truck. I want to do a lot of things of what you guys want to see me do on the tr this truck. And then also if you guys have any recommendations on either my boosted hard body or any of my other cars, then definitely put them down in the description below or down in the comments. Um, I do read all the comments. But with that being said, I know I said that like three times, but with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.